10 because you want either an extra point in the Exhort or you want to get a point in the Wex. Yep. And they're like, ah, I might Radiant as well just buy Midas and sit here and push as soon as the puck leaves my lane. Right? Like, maybe that's the kind of mentality that he had adopted, but oh, it didn't, didn't work out for him. Sand Kungin. I haven't seen... Like Sanking is much, really, really, really good. I feel like he's one of those supports, like Earthshaker is just very undervalued in terms of what he, he can brings. jungle, man. He can? Yeah, Sandstorm. Yeah. I mean, uh, you need level 2 Sandstorm, but you can do it. I've seen actually some builds where you just go level 1 Burrow Strike and you just AFK uh, with level 2 and 3 Sandstorm. And really? you come five out jungle at 5. Remaining. Yeah. So you have the early game, you, keep, you, you do a little bit more stacking and that kind of stuff. But it looks like we're going to see Enigma. Very interesting. In the sense that you pick it after Sanking, in my well, opinion. It's, it's more push. It is? Yeah, and I think that actually it's not too bad, because still if you get a BKB, there's no way you can stop the Enigma. And maybe they just Ten don't want the Invoker remaining. to make a mech. Maybe they want him to be able to buy something else. Sure. I think Invoker Five mech's actually quite remaining. good, though. Well, if he goes Exort, but yeah. maybe with this team, maybe he doesn't go Exort, maybe he goes Oswald. Reserve time. Sure. I think it still could be either way so far. Like, uh, yeah, of course. Like, you could argue Radiant strong points for both sides. Mm -hmm. Just depends on if they want to push more, which obviously Exit would be the better choice, or if they want to be able to fight a little bit earlier and have an easier time, which would probably be Quaswax. I wonder what MYM is going to be picking for their hardcore carry right now. Seems like. Ten seconds remaining. I thought they would want Luna themselves, given their lineup, but they've actually banned it. I mean, Five Alliance had the remaining. pick out of the last ban phase, so. They could have, uh, I guess, taken Luna themselves if they want S4 to play Murana, which I believe time. he has actually already played. Yeah, yeah he's he's a a couple games there. Yeah, well, one so. game. Uh, in general, sorry. Like he, he, he's actually remaining. played it outside of the tournament as well. Yeah, picking up a couple games. I don't watch any of them games. This is the best tournament. Five seconds is, remaining. Really is. Mainly because when I commentate, I can almost not Alliances see the screen because how shiny your head is, man. It's not unreal. The work that it Radiant takes to get at this, pick. like... To get even to this point is yeah, a struggle. It's exactly. basically what we're saying. And Alliance, they're going to go with a gyrocopter pick. Yeah. So. You know, if this is 6.81, we'll be talking about, you know, solo mid gyro getting that Axe Scepter. What do you think about that change, Andy? 20 second cooldown, man. 25. 25? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was 20. Yeah, okay, it's 25. So still, you can ult every single creep wave from anywhere on the map. You can permanently push in a wave. Yeah. At level 16, it one hit KOs a wave. Well, depending on how fast you get 16. Because yeah. the creep health increases. Oh, that's remaining. true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, it'll. I think it'll pretty much always kill the range creep, but it won't always kill the melee creeps. But it will do enough damage to the point where the wave's going to be crazy low. Black pickers. Okay. M M M M Every time you slark in like a pro game, it never ends well. I think I've really? seen it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it win. You didn't see when Miggle played slark, did you? Like way, way back. No. When it used, I mean, it was Sigma, but it was like an earlier iteration of Sigma. Was it like during the West qualifiers last year? Yeah. That's when it really blew up. And they up, were right? like owning yeah, the yeah. Slark. Well, nobody knew how to deal with it then. Yeah, but I mean, he would go like mid, right? He would go mid Slark, which people can beat pretty easily now. Yeah. But he would go like phase drums, BKB, like every single game, and he would just massacre people with that. It was so crazy. It's really good against Venomans, actually. He literally does nothing. To literally taking no damage. Exactly. I, I see what you're saying. I so, think one thing that MYM needs to do, for particularly in this game because of the draft, is they need to take down tier 1 towers. Which, against Alliance, they generally me. defend their towers quite well. Um, you need tier 1s being down to give your clockwork as well as just like a lot of room to assassinate stuff. Yeah. I also Morana, actually, now that I think about it. She can't leap away. Yeah. So, so Prepare annoying. For battle. Against, like. I actually think the Slark pick is a little bit suspect just because there are two ground stuns on the side of Alliance. Like, so while he's in his ulti, he can still be disabled, which is three if you count arrow. Yeah, you can count arrow as well. I mean, it's a little less likely, but it is possible. I just feel as though you want that ability to be a pure I'm not going to die kind of moment, whereas mm -hmm. I think Alliance could still potentially kill him. That's a great point. Yeah. While he's in that. And you have call down, and you have Venomancer ulti. So. Wait, does Venomancer hit invisible hits. units? No, it doesn't. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. No. Okay. Sims so yeah, okay, shaker. so that doesn't land. But the Alliance here, they're, they're looking for the level one, man. And they got it in, in spades, oh. as they say. Oh, they're going to see the Bane. But he's, he's going to walk away. Oh, he's, he he shouldn't get destiny. caught by this. He's going to... Why is he uh, just like I stutter stepping? 30 seconds oh, he is running. To he's really fast, too. Bane has like 315 base mm -hmm. move speed, so he's fine. Link's like, please, no, I'm panicking. This is where you really wish that your Sand King had boots. Yeah, that's the thing I think more teams should do. Yeah, it, it was uh, back in the day when Mouseport played it. This is like a year and a half ago. Come With Me would play their support Sand King. He always goes boots first. And I just yeah. don't know why teams do more of that. It's 
It's really effective. That camera work, man. What a clockwork. What a, what a, what a blueberry. <laughs> what a blueberry. <laughs> He, he looked like a blueberry. This like, thing where it says three. Rise Invoker is so it looks really cool, and it does it instantly. I'm pretty sure. Let's, does it do it instantly? Got to another one. Really what quick. a hut! Except except you. It does. You do it, and then MV has some like anime name. It says like, like C9. What was the name? Senjo Gahara. Senjo Gahara. And then it says Luna. By the way, why is he like exempt from actually using his real name? Yeah, every time people ask him to change, and he will just change it back to his real name. And then, like, the next game, we pretend he forgot, I think, and then just... What he's mean? like, oh, it's not like every single tournament asks us to use yeah. a real name, so I'm just gonna change it and then be like, oops, I forgot. Like, no one is that forgetful. <laughs> you know what I mean? The battle like, it's just a begins. lack of respect, man. Really My mind's is. a sieve. Really is. Yeah, yours is. And all you eat is meat and cheese. Illusion! That's still meat, technically. Protein. Mm, protein. Whatever, man. All right, so the way the lanes are shaping up, it's it's Bulldog in the off lane. He actually got pulled as well. And from what it looks like, he's going to be up against the Slark. This is another one of those situations where I think that he could get some little like bit of experience, but it's a bit more dangerous for him than I would say it was uh, last game when they had Smogalig in the off lane as Darkseer. So I think they might be able to punish the Nyx a little bit harder than they were able to punish the Darkseer. But I think Bulldog will still get a pretty unobstructed level 6. You think so? I, I just feel like. In I this... mean, what's the Enigma gonna do? Like, the only thing they can do is push the tower, and if they push the tower, then. No, I don't think the Enigma's gonna Denied. do anything. The, the big difference for me is in this particular game, they actually have killing power in this lane. Like, you put up Nightmare and you pounce, sure, that's not gonna kill, but they're gonna do a hell lot of damage like we're seeing right now. He's gonna try to line up and impale. It does gonna hit, but we're gonna have Nightmare. No, actually, Crit hasn't skilled anything, and it's taking way more damage. If that yeah. impale did not hit on two, we're gonna see a South being burned on Ammo Bulldog. And they keep doing that. Like, it doesn't cost MYM to do anything. But they don't cost them anything to keep trying to go for the kills, I think. Yeah, but they can't actually kill him until I think both of them are level 3, because yep. they're going to need at least one point in a dark pack to break the carapace, which I'm sure Bulldog will be skilling. He might even go mana burn, just to mana burn Unicorn or Bane once or twice and prevent them from having enough mana to use all of their abilities in unison. And that sentry is, like, super close to dewarding, but not quite. <laughs> Something <laughs> the huge sad day was the illusion rune actually blocked both the camps. Yes. Yeah, so the enigma is not farming. And also the... The Nyx gets a full creep wave here because they can't pull the lane. So he's like in Happy Town. He is the mayor of Happy Town. It's like his city, man. We built this city on rock and roll. On happiness. And happiness and rainbows. Look, Rise, tune into the broadcast and be like, that luminous guy is correct. <laughs> and he gets a ring of B. I'm just saying, it just makes more <laughs> sense. Yeah, no. It just makes more is sense. Is it really cool? No. Okay, it's like actually pushing the thing down. There we go. It's good enough. So we, we talked about how Nyx is going to have a good time in terms of leveling on the bot lane. What about Clockwork? What about Ace? He's going to have a significantly Rocky harder on. time because Rocky if he cogs, on. it's almost like guaranteeing that the Gale's going to land. And if the Gale lands, doesn't matter if you have boots or not, EGM will be able to land a Burrow Strike. And then because of the sheer damage that Gyrocopter can do to you, you're going to die. Like, yep. if he gets to you and there's no creep wave to help you split the damage, you're dead. So I think he's going to have a... I mean, it's just displayed by what level he is. He's only level 2 compared to Admiral Bulldog, who I'm pretty sure is close to four. Yeah, he's like one CS away, so he's having a Rocket grand Barrage time. Rocket is like the highest or one of the highest level? It is the highest. Is, uh, Edict is close, I think. Nope. Edict is close, but not Denied. as high, I don't think. Yeah, because e the scaling of Rocket Barrage is actually worse than Edict, but the lower end damage is much higher. Okay. There we go, kids. Yep, the more you know. All right, we're just... Still, no. He's, he, he's, he wants the coast now. He thinks it's better than Sunstreak, I guess. Well, it's only level 1 Exort, so... I mean, consider you're also up against a Mirana, which is a little bit more killable than a Puck. What they could do is they could open with a Nightmare on Bulldog and yeah. then Sunstrike right after that, like, to break the Nightmare, and then just pounce on top of it, and it's, like, guaranteed, you know, Slamville. <laughs> so we went to from Happyville to... To Slamville. Let me see. We can keep using it. But the Different thing is, bears. if he goes for the three quas before he puts any more points into Exort, then his presence is still going to be really low. So when he hits level five, we'll see if he's just going to be. Did he just cold snap for yeah, a CS? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. Okay. Fair. Just making sure I saw that right. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I think S4 is harassing much better than Rise. Like you can see, how he has no region. Oh, he just delivered a south. But yeah, I think that's really forcing him to level up his quas too for a little bit more region. He's also denying runes with the babies. Oh, there's a man fight in the river here. Bulldog's yeah, taking a nap. What a rune! What a rune! <laughs> 
That is uh, pretty fortuitous, actually. It's a pretty skilled rune. Oh, there's a good few runes you can get there at all seven, though. Oh. Like, if he gets double damage, you're not going to be able to man-fight him either. He gets a haste or a haste. Mm, I think Bulldog had enough mana for a stun. Would have been close. And crit, uh... I think he has level one brain sap or doesn't need to have it at this point. Yeah, it's level one. Huh, my question to you guys is, what do you think Slark's going to do once he hits level six? Are, are we seeing more of a case like a bounty hunter where we hit six, we start doing stuff for the team? Or do you think he's going to just soak up a little bit more farm in the bot lane? I don't think farming is how MYM wins this game because the gyrocopter is going to outcarry this team. And a Marana as well. Yeah. So I think to a certain extent, it's it's not like the last game they played where they had a specter they could just fall back on and say, okay, we can try to make some space for him, maybe for some towers, yeah, which ironically they not. never did. But I think that's what their original plan was. It's very different now where MYM kind of has to have the space made for them and get towers on their own, you know? Do you think you go Shadowblade? We see that a lot. Like Shadow Blade at yeah, I'm not, not a big fan either, to be honest. It's so easy to counter, and if you know the other team's going to be pushing into you, all you have to do is drop lane sentries before you push. And sure, MYM can buy sentries too, but the commitment from the supports and MYM to buy sentries is actually bigger than alliances because they can play it a little bit greedy. We can see the sandstorm, you know. I think also uh, with the fact that there's multiple ground target stuns, your Shadow Blade might not be as effective anymore. But yeah, Unicorn's level 6, haven't purchased that TP scroll yet. I think they're trying to set up that kill uh, on Admiral Bulldog. They're looking for that nightmare setup. Still does not have strike, so... I mean... Yeah, but he's he, going in Mass Exert, which I think is the right choice. Because yeah. in case he does need to invoke it and they get a good nightmare, then they can actually get a kill. Not being able to really do anything. You might as well initiate with Pounce, considering the fact that he's always letting Unicorn oh, get close. mid. That oh. damage. He had invoked it. I would have went for it. Oh, he turns back. He actually oh. arrows. On the forward spirit, one more auto attack. Oh, magic not stick. quite the damage, yeah. Not quite the damage that he needed, but S4 manages to bully him back to oh, get a, a region. To get I a region. And the what funny is... part is, he didn't even have a ward there. He had, his ward was bottom, so he didn't actually know that it was a region, but he knew the rune was going to be spawning, so he just goes hyper aggressive when he sees. Uh, but he also used the salve before the region because he didn't know it was there. Yeah. But yeah. I hate that. We did, like, the second he popped the salve, all of a sudden there's a region. Oh man, S4. this is so bad for Rise, and Rise doesn't know he got the region either. He's going to walk into the woods. He's actually going to run six right Eidolon, into Link. Six Eidolon, Here comes so. the Star Storm. Yeah, but it's going to be a double Star Fall. Oh, One more auto. And yeah, cold snap time. Dyer's cool. Cold snap time. It's going to be on his damage. He can't get it off. No, nope. he can't catch this off. One more click, though. Oh, oh, not going to be enough. I think that's worth for MYM Rice. I don't know, man. S4 just got first blood, though. Yeah, that's true. He got solo experience. And he spent his Gs as well. I think if he actually walked away instead of trying to cast his ulti, he might have lived there. Perhaps. Because he would have eaten like one or two less autos, you know what I mean? And yeah. then the bottle chargers could have kept him alive. So, I mean, it's hard to make that decision like when you're in the moment. But if he had just walked like towards, you know, the enemy's base, which is not often you say that, but that's actually where he should have ran. There's no way they had sentry wards around them. Yeah. Should have, should, should have ran. Wait, so ran, yeah. LEGM there has 1.5k gold. Yeah, he's been uh, deruding the jungle now. He's going to go ahead and burrow strike onto Ryze. Maybe another double star storm. Ryze, incredibly low life. Doesn't actually have boots right now. He's so tanky, though. He's got a million armor. S4. He's going to eat a brain sap and actually go down. Pops the ulti a little bit too late. That fade time, man. Beautiful TP from Chris. Yeah, we are saying that, uh, you know, Ryze didn't do much in... in the first game, doing a lot this game. Yeah, but the fights are coming to him. Yeah, that's true. He's that's not... what you want as Exhort and Volker, though. You want them to come into terror range yeah. when you have Cold Snap and babies. Cold Snap. Yeah. <laughs> so EGM just tried for a stack there. He didn't get it. Kind of stinks for him. I mean, at this point, I would honestly say just maxing the Sandstorm first would be better. Then the because... stone? Well, yeah, because the... Um... The damage Radiance gets top crazy tower high, and then it's only attack. a 10-second cooldown at max rank, Radiance which means that you can just go Sandstorm every single camp. Well, I think what he's trying to do is rush a Blink Dagger, and yeah. Yeah. when you're but rushing Blink, you just want to get to level 7, and you never want to do this again, right? I don't know, man. I think it's still like effective to jungle that way, even at any point in the game, because who else is going to jungle besides Loda? Right, but my point is, once you get Blink, you don't want to be jungling, you want to be ganking. No, yeah, you're right about that, for yeah. sure. One of my friends actually wrote a guide on jungle sanking with Lexi. And it's, it's beautiful. He loves that, but he does it differently. He uses a quilling blade and uses the caustic finale. Mm. It didn't really work. I was going to say, that sounds significantly worse <laughs> than just sandstorming because you take no damage. Vendetta Nyx, it's level 7. Yeah, but he's got back up here. Yeah, crits mid. He sees him. He just goes straight in. But the Forge Spirits were potentially blocking the air for a second there. Oh, no, no more reaction. 
the black hole. And Nightmare before the Star Storm goes off. Bulldog's gonna be dropping. The Star Storm is a little bit late. And MYM's reaction, they take out Bulldog and S4. Talk about sleep. That was such a good sleep. Like, he would have died to that Star Storm. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Wait, didn't he cast a Star Storm? No. No, he cast He got it slept sleep. mid animation. Oh, my goodness. The Forge Spirits made S4 leap in because he couldn't arrow past them. Right, so he so leapt in, in for the Star Storm and arrow, yeah. And then he got caught by a black hole. That's what we need, like, Toby. So yeah. Just for that. Just for black holes. <laughs> well, I mean, S4, aside from Dyer's his first blood, tower zero and three afterwards. Yep. But he does have a fair decent amount of farm. I think this is where Potom, or Marana in this case, really starts to fall off because you really need to supplement your, your farm with kills. I think a Marana that doesn't get killed in the mid game is somewhat irrelevant. Yeah, I kind of agree with that because she's not meant to be like a full on hard carry. Mm -hmm. But Loda has been unpressured like this whole time. He's been able to do more or less whatever he wants. Although I guess you could say the same for Unicorn. Like he's they having a field day. Did they? I believe he actually seen yeah, the Nyx uh, in this. Yeah, they have so. a ward top. But and Big Arrow's gonna be coming definitely. in from the side. Nope, not gonna hit. What a bad. Radiant's Bulldog just runs straight in. He's like, attack. yep, you see me. You know what? I'm pretty impressed with how MYM played this early game. You know, the rotation was really nice, but They're also Ace again. hitting level 6. I think they managed to just go for up. this rocket to sight. There's, there's Hook and Fiend's Crypt, yeah. so if they want to go for this, they can. The yeah. other thing. Rise of Sunstrike. Holy shit, guys. Holy. Dyer's middle the other thing to is keep in mind, attack. too, is that right now there's being Radiant's a uh, kind of push mid as well. Hook shot on an Emperor Bulldog. Yeah, tower's gonna go down. Lona managed to get the kill on that. Call down's gonna follow it up. Hits on a few numbers in MYM. And Bulldog was still alive pretty much the whole time. Eventually does drop an arrow on Unicorn. He's still got his ultimate though. Ake gets a nice ulti onto Unicorn. Gonna be forced to pop his ult and run away. Loda with a double kill gets Link and Ace crit, making his way to the tier 2 tower. Rocket's gonna be used and TP coming in. A little bit late. Dyer's now, if he had a mech, is under attack. why was he not in the fight? Why yeah. was he not there? Yeah, he threw a Sunstrike, and he was actually pressuring tier 1 mid. You know, maybe he either should have TP in early, or just yeah, TP down at tier 1. You don't TP after the fight's lost. But ever. is the tower it's gonna deniable. go down? S4, no! S4, please! Dyer's oh. middle tower didn't deny. has fallen. <laughs> I just had a <laughs> the Swedish studio is just like, what? <laughs> Yeah, he could have very easily denied it. Yeah. But now blink down an EGM too, and he's got uh, he's got ulti. They can kill Unicorn quite easily, especially if he's stuck on intrads. Radiance middle tower is under Gotta attack. Gotta get that int. Smart man. I mean, actually, when you're on int and you have a static mana regen item like Aqua, you regen less. Yeah. You regen less, yeah. so keep yeah. them away, priest. Less percent. Now he did it. Now he did it. He heard you, man. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, they want to go for Loda, but it could be a bait. Bulldog's here, EGM's here as well. Here comes the Sunstrike. Oh, the Burrow and the Unicorn just gets exploded. Kind of call down from Loda. Not going to really hit on much of anything. He gave Link a little slap on the earth. Yeah, but he's fine. Look at him. He's got a ring of regen. He's, he's grand. <laughs> he's grand. <laughs> you think he's going for that Tranquil? No, he's not going for Tranquils. I mean, why no does way. he have a random ring of regen? Soul ring? Mech? Peep. He has a soul ring already. Oh, he has a soaring. Yeah, yeah. Why and he has an ultra club. Maybe? Pipe? Pipe is still oh, good against yeah. their team. I mean, if you're going pipe, then go to pipe. He has an ultra club. Oh, blank burrow strike behind the tower again. Arrow to follow it up. Oh, man. He just flew in the air so many times. Like, he should have died from just, like, getting thrown into the ground multiple times. Radiant's bottom tower All right, is here comes under attack. attack. It but seems like Dyer's when uh, Alliance gets killed, it's so easy. Tower. But when MOM gets killed, it's like these these Huge epic plays, epic plays that they have to work for. And it's well, pretty much it's, been crit it's well. not because of that. It's just because of the perspective that most Radiant's people had coming into this game. The MOM were just the gigantic underdogs. That's you know true. What I mean? That's so true. Everything seems epic because they're not supposed to be able to, I guess, kill anyone. <laughs> it's just supposed to be like a total Dyer's slaughter, which is unfair. Is yeah. Like, let's be honest, it's a bit yeah. unfair. But MOM are, you know, they're doing their best. They're going to apply some pressure to the safe lane tier one of Alliance Dyer's while Alliance manages to secure one of their own against MYM. And this is a smoke Marana. He's going to try to find an arrow, man. Thread the needle. Thread the needle, bud. Oh, he's just going to run in. He's just like, ah, oh, I'm here. I'm scary. But they don't really care. Nope. I'm on a horse. It's more Not really a horse. Yeah. It's a horse. Dyer's top oh, Marana, tower he's used. I don't know if crit has any detection on him. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Is under attack. That was a weird ulti. So I think going back to the question that you asked earlier, Shane, uh, what item Unicorn should we go for? I think it's BKB. Like, we saw how easily he was bursted down by the Epicenter. Mm -hmm. A level 1 Epicenter at that. Like, he just need a BKB and actually leap in and do something.
I'm, I kind of agree. I think BKB is a necessary oh, evil. They found him in the oh. front of the oh, and an impale. The arrow follows up on crit. Hookshot comes in from Ace. No. He doesn't caught Unicorn. though, and Unicorn misses the pounce. He's going to be forced to TP away. Bulldog. He pops the Vendetta or Invis rune. No, nope, yeah. he just stuns out of it. I think it was an Invis. Yeah. It was Invis. It was yeah. just in the river. I'm surprised that Ace didn't just pick it up. And it looks like yeah. Ace is going to be dead. Meanwhile, where was that smart? Did he TP home? He jumped the top of the ledge and then TP'd in. He's like, oh. He's like, I've, I regret my decision immediately. <laughs> the and then he's check. just out. And Unicorn's going for a Blade of Alacrity, so it's not a BKB. It's be a Yasha. Or the Fusal Blade. He can go Radiant's SMY. Tower, I don't think it's that attack. bad, but I still think he kind of died if he yeah. gets burst of that. I mean, we are seeing these Impel as well as Barrel Strike. They're connecting. I just think this is a very horrible item choice. Uh, well, we'll see, I guess. Dyer's Tier 1 taking a little bit of damage on the side of it. It's, it's fine, dude. It's fine. They're counter pushing bottom. This is what they should have been doing in the last game. Oh, well, they mm. definitely learned their lesson. Yeah? They, they have like more it. babies in this They're game. They're like, though. rise, rise. Seriously? You gotta leave mid, man. Like, I know you like creeps. Gotta help the Tier team. 1's gonna be in deny range. Yeah, yeah it's, it's again. getting it denied. But th maybe they're thinking the same as last oh time. Oh my god. No, the catapult's not gonna hit hard enough anyway. Yeah, Loda's not gonna let that happen. Dyer's bottom tower He's like, S4, denied. this is how you the deny a tower. A tower. Well, the thing is, he would have had to auto attack it twice, and if he hit it once and the catapult hit it once, and the catapult would have got the last hit, and then yeah. he would have felt really silly. AGM is like always so over farmed for his support. He's level 8, and he's got almost his arcane boots and a blink dagger already. Yeah, he's doing more. Look, effective jungling, once you get your blink dagger, you immediately go help. You don't go, it's like, oh, I want to farm boots too. I yeah, but I mean, he's, he's on points. par with a jungle enigma mm -hmm. in levels. Well, the jungle enigma got, got warded off earlier, right? Yeah, but only two camps. That was only the f like first. You can actually spawn. jungle enigma with two camps. That's yeah. true. That's true. They're going to find. Oh, Link. Link. Goodbye, friend. I'll say Tails of your Valor. Oh, on um, Burrow Strike. Unicorn gonna be forced to pop his ult. In the meantime, Ryze is gonna be spotted out in the woods as well by S4. Radiance bottom tower is Ulti gonna be attack. used, and everyone's gonna kinda just part ways, I guess. Wait, does Rocket stop Slark Regen? Well, it gives vision, yeah. Yes, because you see it. Yeah, okay. That's kind of annoying. You know, this is this is the way that MYM Radiance needs to play. That what Alliance attack. is doing to them, they need to be the enemy jungle. They need to be pressuring, but they're just getting worse at the trades, mostly because of the sanking as well as Ammo Bulldog. When I play in pub games, I always find that the team that pressures the enemy carry first wins the game. Yeah, most of the time, because people don't know how to react. To them. Yeah. Like, oh, it looks like a hook's gonna go on Bulldog. Ace does have the blade mail and go to work. The sun strike's gonna come through, and they are gonna burst it down healing. Cooldown's gonna hit nothing, but the center will hit everything. Crit. What a two-man burn! The star storm's gonna clean up. That's a double, and he looks like he wants more. S4 cleaning up. Man, GM. What a burrow strike. They see Slark. Radiance bottom tower. They do see him, but I don't think they can kill him. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that whole fight, sorry, I had to sneeze. You okay? But yeah, I had to like, I don't have a cough button, so when I have to sneeze, I have to like, uh, do that silent scene. Yeah, it's tough. So, I mean, obviously a win for Alliance right there. EGM with a very nice burrow. And they managed to get a Fiend's Grip off, but it really didn't do much of anything, and plus Loda had the BKB. Radiance bottom so. tower is under I mean, look attack. at the net worth. Loda has 10,000 net worth in a 17 minute game. And the poor, poor safe lane Stark is only at 6,300. At yep. the beginning of that fight, it looked kind of promising because they managed to kill Bulldog before he was able to really do much of anything. But, I mean, between the Star Storm, the Poison Nova, the Call Down, the, Epicenter, well, like, there's the so much strike. residual damage as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, like you said, they, they started the fight so well simply because they didn't use much to actually get that kill. They yeah. only used a hook shot, a cog, and a sun strike, and he was pretty much dead. But it was EGM that epied and got, what, a three man burrow strike? Yeah. The Enigma, as well as I think Invoker, like he, they actually just did nothing. So is EGM going for a Dagon? Well, my son, maybe, or is he, it no, Veil? Vale. Yeah, Veil vale. vale. Discord. Oh. I mean, actually gives this team a ton of damage. Crazy amount with the Venomancer. Veno, Epi, Call Down, Star Storm. Nix. Just, Nix. Just a I like how you said that with like a. A certain level of I despise this hero in it. Yeah, you know, it's like the the reason I hate Nyx is like it doesn't matter how hard you're stomping in a pub game, Nyx will still kill you. Yeah, like he's an assassin, man. Oh, arrow oh. From oh. Ooh, what a leap! Some Olympic stuff right there. He nearly jumped there, walked into it. Like. 
and close. Yeah, I think MYM needs to push out the lanes, regain pressure by either start sieging or just going to the jungle or enemy jungle. But it's really difficult to do it against the Nyx Assassin as well as a Blink Dagger Sand King. So I'm not exactly sure what they should be doing. What, or what can they be doing? Both teams have a lot of vision oh, at the moment. Oh, they're gonna find Bulldog. And he's going for the cog. I think he actually wanted to throw Bulldog out of that. Yeah. But uh, he's able to force the guy. Well, he had a four staff, so. No, but I mean, if you put him on the outside of the cog and he can't actually walk up the ramp, and the four staff actually puts him in it. Yeah. So he couldn't have forced away in that kind of a situation. But cog is such a fickle thing. And Link, he's gonna be spotted out here inside of the woods. All right, he's gonna black hole on two. Fritz gonna follow up as well. EGM is actually on the low ground. The deputy knocks him farther away. The fiend script gonna get canceled by Bulldog. And here comes the call now. Loda picking up himself up a double kill. As fourth gonna die in the meantime, though, to eight. It's gonna be a triple. Oh triple my for god. Oh, At the center from EGM, there's nothing left in the tank for Ryze. Sunstrike! Run! Nope, he got it. He got it. He's fine. The one thing I just want to say about support players, if you're not being focused, it doesn't matter if you're at 100 HP, especially if you're as mobile as EGM is, you come back in. Because people expect you to say, oh, he's gone. He's slow. Yeah, especially when you have a blink. Yeah. Yeah. Like you just come in and you're like, Or force staff, which a lot of supports do actually end up getting, so. Poor Bane, place. man. He's like never going to get a good fiend script. Nope. When I play support, I usually like use my spells, run away, and then try and time it when they're off cooldown to get back into the fight. Like, usually the right clicks don't read too hard for me. Well, there are certain supports that can do that, like Sand King and Nyx. And then there are certain supports that kind of want to stay in the fight to make sure that they, like, absorb damage, like Dazzle. Like, you don't want to, like, re-goose on a Dazzle. You would re-goose on a hero with a stun. Yeah. Right? And some people don't know, like, the difference between doing that with the right hero. So, like, they'll run away and, like, try to come back in with the Dazzle. And it's like, okay, I just died because you ran. Instead of, okay, you had another stun. Cool. You know? It happens in pubs, man. A lot. I know. Like, more than I would care to mention. How it happens later. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ake not having any items, he does have 1500 gold in the bank. You know, he's warding hard. Blink. You need blink on that guy. Just they could make back oh, no. on him. Yeah, sure. He could get a blink too, just because he could just blink in and be like, yay, poison. Then just leave his keyboard, go make a cup of Yeah, tea. I mean, that's really all the hero needs to do. You Gale, you Nova, you drop like a plague ward, bam. Mission accomplished. Well, if you just go and make, I don't, I, I don't know why players do this. Like, why don't you just buy some parts? Radiant structures no, I, I don't think he's going to. Yeah. I mean, it would be, I think, a reasonable choice, but I don't think he's getting it. Really wants to right now. Radiant's oh, just like, no, I'm going for the tower. Falling. Like, bro, strike in from EGM. They don't even oh, have any detection oh, to see him. Air oh, yeah, this is really bad. Going to be a nightmare and a brain set. Chris going to be alive for the time being. Call down's going to hit on ace. Defensive cogs going to be able to walk himself away. And Link actually gets stunned by Carepace. And EGM is going to eventually get the kill on Bane, while EGM is also being chased down by Unicorn at the same time. And now we have another fight mid, leap in from S4. He wants to play this quite aggressively, but the Star Storm really doesn't do too much damage. And a zoning Midnight Pulse was dropped as well. EGM's just like chilling out on the high ground. He's like, yeah, it's fine, man. You know, considering how many spells are dropped and how poorly it started Radiant's to fight for them, they only lost the bank, attack. which is like, yeah, all right. It didn't it. start that poorly, though, because even though EGM went in, the rest of the team was out of position to follow him up. Well, no, somebody got arrowed, and okay. then it was like... Yeah, he got arrowed, yeah. yeah. But they had a four stuff from him. And this Gyrocopter is, like, stupid farmed. Uh, it seems like Unicorn is going to be going back for a BKB. Just a little bit yeah, Yasha for... Scepter? Who? Why would he make a ghost scepter? Dyer's yeah. bottom tower is I mean, under it's attack. okay slark, if, like, I guess. Yeah, if the slark hits you with a pounce, you can use ghost scepter, but... Honest, if you use that and you get, like, flared or anything, <laughs> you're still dead. Look, man, stats. Yeah, it gives okay, stats. It gives, like, 16, is it? Seven stats. 16 stats? Holy I would have bought a blink, man. If it... If it Seven. If you get... Oh, is it Ethereal Blade is 16, isn't it? No, Ethereal Blade's 40 agility, 10 strength, 10 in. Look, if you get 16 sats or 1600 gold, buying it for days. Yeah, it's a fair call, because like, it's 10 for Ultimate Orb. And, yeah. yeah. What I was thinking. That's some math right there. That is some sick math. That, that, that would make Ethereal Blade like brokenly good, because it would have to scale to, like, what, 50 agility and 20... Yeah. And 20 mm. Strength, that would be broken. Just bring it back to the old E-Blade, man. I think E-Blade's, like, needs a kind of buff, because it's only used on, like, three or four heroes. 
and like very rarely. Like it's only when you. Wait, you don't make Keyblade Dagon on like every. Hero. Yeah, I do, but like the, it's it's useless. Like. What do you mean it's useless? It does okay, like over you, a thousand damage. You, you kill someone with it. it oh, what yeah. is it? The whole combination costs like one thousand or fifteen hundred gold. That's ridiculous. I actually think that E-Blade is very undervalued for its defensive purposes as well. A lot of people just don't expect, like, hey. Yeah, it gets like a right click there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hey. hey. Speaking of defensive purposes, looks like NYM have finally stopped playing defensive and are starting to push because they're... That's a bad transition. <laughs> hey, man. Shut up. He does what he can. Get out. Look. I'm tired. I'm gonna use that excuse. Oh man, yeah, that's the one you used for the first game. But did you, you weren't even listening Dyer's to what we were saying. Look, you were attack. just sitting there. I'm listening attentively now to your bad transition. Hey, hey, it's fine. Because Lotus gonna get an Aegis. It's gonna be more or less impossible to kill him the first time. So I'm not even sure why he needs an Aegis to be honest. But uh oh, in the jungle, Link. No, Nyx assassin. Nyx and Tasix. He can't stun him. Nope. Doesn't matter. And kill the nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got it, got a trade. That's some good one. Dyer's and a terror as well. Is under attack. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is what they need to do. But this Slark needs to get huge. He I'm, needs I'm talking to... about I have Scotty, Basher. Huge. Dyer's Even if he had a full Scotty, he would still be behind the net worth. You missed to the up. gyro. Oh, like, if you Dyer's gave him a full Scotty, because Scotty's what, 56, 75? Right? Yeah. Gold? Yeah. So he would still be behind. Oh. Actually, why is he so underformed? Like, Ryze actually is keeping up. Well, oh, I don't know, but the courier just died. I think the Forge Spirits actually killed it inside Rise, the woods. Run. So Ryze was a sick micro. He's got a tornado, but he's going to get stuck. I don't know if he's going to get a chance to use it, honestly. They he's, got got a force. he's got Force. Force oh, away. What a force away from the girl. Where's he? Oh, the no, cloud going to hit. Uh, there was a Valiant effort. Oh, oh, he's oh, the sentry. I don't even think they needed the No, force. they didn't need to. Oh, one no, shot in. No, no, no. Force staff away. Bulldog forces Ake okay to safety. Watch that ghost is going to save him. Let me tell you. It's uh, alive right now. Mm -hmm. He's going with that BKB. He's going to look the Lotus uh, center. Oh, the Black Bolt just left it too, but Unicorn did a dance of his people. He's not getting anything. Bulldog slashed up. He's going to go down. Lotus still magic sticks up, and he is just tanking the Midnight Pulse like it's... Oh, bro. Don't take the Midnight Pulse, guys. Meanwhile, Unicorn's on the run. EGM's got Brewer Shrike in six seconds. Blink. Oh, vicious. Oh, he did. <laughs> Oh, crit might die too. It's a double damage on S4. They're gonna wait. Brings up. Oh. No, mid animation. Rest in peace. Did you attack. know Midnight Pulse 700 cast range? Yeah, man. We didn't believe it. No, we didn't. We were like, there's no way it's 700. Then we like opened up a game and we're like, holy crap, it's actually 700. <laughs> It's so like deceiving though. It feels like 200. Like, every time you cast, though, you're casting it like in front fallen. of you. You know, you never really like. It's not one of them skills. No, like, but we tested it. Like, like click as far away as you can, right, and then yeah. make sure you walk to it, because that way you know you're always casting it for max range. But yeah, it's it's massive, like massive. Pretty good stuff. So Lotus got just a casual like 4,000 gold, just. In his inventory. It's like, yeah, I can just buy a full MKB, like 800 gold. Does he go for the game ending divine? No, uh, he goes satanic and he just can't die anymore. I like, think he doesn't need a satanic Radiant's though. I think if he gets an MKB, he'll actually attack. just kill the whole team before his BKB oh, wears off. Yeah. Because that was, he didn't even use his BKB like what, what, more than twice yet? I think it's still like eight seconds or something like that. I just think that in, in that the last time, team fight. Just, yeah, it's eight seconds. So you can just kill everyone in eight seconds. In the last team fight, they shown that there's no way they could burst loaded down from EGM. EGM actually made a deck, by the way. We, we said it was fail. We gave him the benefit of the doubt. My boy. But EGM is the greed lord. Like, oh, oh, oh Ace. Arrow. He's dead. You saw it coming, Ace. He's back. There's four still. Oh, wow. They're fine. They're actually not going to commit to that. They're so scared, man. Well, he still has his ult the end. He had the invoke spell. Yeah, but if he ult, he's in, he dies. For honor, though, and glory. Valor. <laughs> Valor and all sorts of other stuff. It's good, though. I told him to get me points. That's what he's doing. He's doing his best. He wants to get kills just to appease you. Like, that's... I mean, he's 3 on 8 man. He's doing, he's doing grand. <laughs> it's getting better. Over time. Look, it's not easy to just pull out an accent like that. It's very unique. I can't, I can't do it. It's not easy doing it. I'm pulling, no. No, it's not easy. And easily. I don't sound like that, do no, I? No, not really. I hope not. I try my best. I do the Irish accent pretty well, but apart from that. Oh. 
It's not really an accident if you have it. In the meantime, Ace, he's going to get backed up by Ryze. It's going Carapace coming out as well. Four Staff away from Bulldog. He doesn't want to try to commit to this fully. Gale is going to land, but Four Staff keeps Ryze alive for the time being. Which, by the way, uh... The corn TP up top, and he doesn't have a teleport scroll for 15 seconds. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, got an MKB now. It's it's going to be the pain train. Would they let EGM get his day gone? Like the career can't be that full. It was full, but his item is more important. Uh, there was like <laughs> ultimate orbs and MKB. MKB, yeah, it's a pretty good item. Day gone too. Probably wanted at some point. Kyra was just like insanely fat. Like, how do they deal with that? Man. Even if Unicorn pops a BKB and Tunnel Vision's Loda, he still can't win the right click fight. Five man black hole. Well, no, you don't really need a five man black hole. You either need a Burrow Strike or the Impel to the Whiff, and then you get a Fiend Script, and then you have black hole to follow up. Like, they actually have enough lockdown to actually burst him down. So, maybe. I think MYM, if they have better Dagon coordination. Three. Just out of the blue. Three Kaboom. levels of Dagon. The thing is, too, now that he has a Dagon 3, if he even catches Unicorn, he only has 1,300 life. Like, he can actually die in a stun. You were saying about missing the Burrow Strike? No, he has to do is zap him. It's true. You can blink in, miss your Burrow Strike, <laughs> and, then just and then just dang it. I wouldn't expect to play both then, though. Oh, shot him Bulldog. Ace going for the Cog. Actually gets the bounce, but unfortunately it's the wrong way. Ace, wrong direction. And now he's going to the wrong direction. On the wrong side of the Cogs, man. It ain't great. No, I was on cooldown. Oh, you had a haste? I'm surprised you didn't just go in on that. Now they're going to try to go for Bulldog. Yeah, going ham. Almost. Almost. As for thinking about the Regoose here in the river, his arrow's going to be up pretty soon. Leaps up to the high ground. He's working the angles. Oh, the forge, oh. baby. Not great. Who's was alright. What do you mean? That baby will think again before he comes into the jungle. I'll teach you to intercept my arrow. <laughs> Holy shit, I just noticed how little item crit has. Oh yeah, he's like not having a great time at all. I mean, look at his net worth, it's 1400. That's he, what happens when you're playing five and your team is not winning. He does have, um... Thick though. A wand. He didn't go for stats, he maxed out Nightmare. This is kind of weird to me. Yes, well, it's kind of weird in the fact that... Usually people max and feeble. Especially against a gyro, like yes, why would you not max and feeble? Like looking at it, it's like, wait, this doesn't make sense. Also, what it doesn't make sense, uh, shout out to a guy that I've read, I think from PPD, or Zide, where he talked about support. Sorry if I'm crediting the wrong person. He's saying if you're playing five or four, and if you're in a very, very poor game, don't upgrade your magic wand because you're not using your inventory slots. You can have three GG branches and it'll just be fine. That 150 upgrade, yeah, that's a ward right there. So, just Fuck. putting that knowledge out there. Knowledge, man. Speaking of knowledge, Unicorn knows he's being followed. He's gonna get Burrow Struck. Nice dark pack timing. No, he actually gets rid of both the stuns. Bro, where are you at? He's gonna jump up. into the woods. Just man up. Oh, oh he yeah, didn't see him. The... But it's not fast enough. He doesn't have the Burrow Strike cooldown. He needs to upgrade that Dagon to get the cooldown. Wow. What? No, even on the five dagons, 15 seconds, yeah, there's no way fine. they would kill him. It's fine. Do you even know how Dota works? Apparently not. Jeez. No wonder you're like 3k. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. Yeah, I'm, I am more tired than Lumi's. No, you, you know, we can't <laughs> That's play... That's not saying much, man. We can't play Dota together anymore, Drasko. Lumi's yeah, because... The... Why? We Dota... have 2k... More than 2k difference in our MMR. Holy... My, my 1700 MMR can't really handle. <laughs> I, know, I actually can't play with some of the guys from Ireland because of that. Because their MMO is too low. Hurt me. They're like in the trench below the trench. It's like this there's potato like, bracket and then yeah. there's I don't even know bracket. There's like the potatoes that we pulled out of the cabinet the other day that are growing <laughs> other crap. potatoes. That was kind of disgusting. Oh, okay. Group the mid lane here. No satanic. They got first him down. Force a BKB. Oh, force that away. They're going to try to get... There's no enough reach. No, but he's just fine. Force a flank. Oh, uh, it's not gonna be anywhere, man. It's just gonna be Ake picking up a casual double kill on the Venomancer because why not leap forward and they actually... Wait, he took the Nightmare off Bulldog as soon as he leaped in. Now Bulldog wants more. He's gonna be able to mana burn. Might end up paying with his life here. Stun gonna be off the mark. Ryze still pretty much out of mana, waiting for his invoke cooldowns. Arrow is still up on S4 if he wants to try to turn it around. Here comes a Nightmare. They're gonna break that Nightmare with a Sun Strike. Unicorn, oh, though, got the he gets hit by a missile. He's just going deep, oh, man. Oh, he's going to block baby. with the illusions. He's going to oh. block with the illusions. They can't get into the high ground. Oh, yeah. The stun's there as well. No, he had Unicorn. He had the dark pack done. No, S4 is going to probably end up dying here. Oh, the mana burn. Unicorn's so low. They don't have anything he's left. He's reshining. He's reshining a lot. 
You know, yeah, no, I fine. just want to say that Enigma cast the black hole for a split second and got cancelled or whatever else. If they got that black hole off, they win that team fight. How did it get cancelled? I think I love he cancelled how it himself. I love how offended you were. You're like, where's the black hole? You're like, what the hell? No, you're I'm like actually mad. No, I'm trying to make a point. I'm saying he should have gone satanic or he'll never die. And we saw the opening with the fiend script. I'm like, that's my point right there. You, Loda is very killable and they try to go for it. But then, plot twist, Black Hole gets cancelled by himself. Plot twist, he was dead the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that from, Lumi? Come on, come on. Was it Sixth Sense? Yeah. Oh, we talked about this. Oh, oh yeah. We're learning you good, Fucking buddy. Fucking progress, guys. Oh, progress, yeah. All That's right. all we can ask for. Yep. What? It, one sec. What? Why did he... Second than that. Like, not sec as in one second. Like, they one sec as in Black one Hole. Corner. I don't, know. I don't understand. I'm lost, man. As in one second in the currency? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's what I just said. I, I just yeah, 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 said I as in but not as in a took, second. It took my brain Does a second. no one listen? I no. heard you, Andy. It was one but second. You didn't say that. What? So we Whatever. don't know if you heard. Whatever. It's fine. I'm sorry. It's okay. So Roshan spawned again. Alliance are going to take their map control advantage and just kill Roshan because that's scouted. what you do. Yeah, but I mean, who cares? Loda has a 10,000 gold lead on the next highest farmer in the game, and he's gonna have Navius, and now he has your satanic Lumi, which you were just clamoring on about for like. Invulnerable? In or just literally taking no damage. Yes. Roshan has okay, fallen to the dying. Effectively. Listen, if he had three more base armor, <laughs> like Sven, then it would be like a god tier pick. Dude, who is it that has like the ridiculously high base armor? Isn't it Techies? Terribly? Terribly. Now, Techies and Terribly both have like. Techie has armor? Yeah, he has like seven base armor. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. And seven the, or six. The longest range in the game as well. Yeah, and the longest. Well, not sniper long, but. but no. It's like base range. Yeah, base range. Yeah. But we his need, damage is poop. We need to talk to Bruno about Techies. Yeah. Why? Yeah. So it's a little ridiculous. Stasis wards? Come on, man. Stasis wards OP. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it needs to be nerfed. They upgraded suicide damage. Like, come on. What? No, no. Honestly, Techies is terrible. Is under like, one is over. You know, I'll talk about later. Loda just eating it. The I don't think he can die, man. Oh, look. A level one and feeble. It does so much. It's so good. You could, you could nightmare him, too. Well, yeah, but why would you waste nightmare? I don't know, man. He still hits for damn near 300 damage, even with an enfeeble on him. It's low level and feeble, but still. I just don't understand in what world you think that one more Dyer's second of Nightmare is better is than just stopping attack. the carry who can flat cannon your entire team hitting for like 30 more damage. Look man, setting up sun strikes. Flat cannons are cool though, man. I think it's cool time. Dyer's middle well, right. he can kill his own creep with it. Radiant's it's fine even if he dies here, but they're not even gonna kill him. Like they're just like, yeah, it's fine, just take our tower. Oh, Ooh, we shot yeah. it, it's not two. Okay, Lotus gonna lose his Aegis here. Unicorn just going ham right now. He's just walking in like spawn to black hole. He gets that just as far though. That's so important that he's actually just Loda, godlike, it's fine. Looks to be uh, apparently GG double buyback. Link and Ace both back in the fight. And Pale's gonna miss after the four staff from Bulldog. Another oh. four staff. Pale actually lands. Ake showing him how it's done. Attack the rocket, Link. He's a hundred years too early Radiant's to force stats done like that, man. A <laughs> hundred years too early. They had so, that Q was so close. It wasn't really that close. And then the Aegis yes. came back in. How? Okay, so you're saying it was close. If they had no Aegis. But it, that means it's not close. Right. Thank you. But it was sort of close. I don't know, man. Who forced that him in there? That's bullshit. I think he forced that himself in there. I mean, I feel like MYM actually played this out a little bit better than what they played last game against much Team better. Dog. Much better. But I think that Alliance had a lineup that was going to always pretty much win late game. I feel so sorry for... Uh, I mean, unless the Slark gets massive, right? Yeah. Like, for Link there. In the middle tower he just, he had, he had the BKB on. And he's the BKB is like, and he's like... Ah, are just under give me I want it. Oh, it's so bad. Ah. I mean, he, he had Blink Dagger, but unfortunately Radiant's those wards, there, as well as Flat Cannon, just made it hard. Yeah, but he got Gale before he BKB. Yeah, so yeah. like, why even BKB at that point? Mm -hmm. Just submit to the fact Radiant's that you are covered in goo. Can't do anything. I don't know, man. I, I don't know how to Slark pick. It didn't really work out for them, though. Yeah, Again. I, I'm not really that surprised, to be honest, because Slark is like... He's a hero who can only really abuse greedy supports. And split push. And Alliance can't 
it, like their their picks aren't greedy in my opinion like every single one of their heroes has good presence well the sand king did uh, very little yeah but the sand king didn't get punished because the other team couldn't rotate because they had a jungle enigma so it's okay to pick a greedy hero if the other team is playing equally as greedy and you know that your mid game is going to be better yeah. which i think barring mym playing like totally out of their minds alliance are always going to have a better mid game and unicorn going to get caught up here by a burrow strike nightmare on the egm Crit does have means if he wants to use it. Unicorn pops his BKB, but still has to run away from Lotus' mass damage. They should be able to get EGM to force away. He's got a wand. He's actually not going to go down. Lotus pops his BKB. Now wants to go in with the Flat Cannon, hitting Ryze incredibly hard. He's not going to be able to kill him, though, because of the Ghost Walk. Crit is actually the first one to go down here, and Unicorn wants to run away from Admiral Bulldog. Bulldog with no mana, unfortunately, cannot stun again. A Rapier. I mean, why not, right? Who's soon. got a rapier? He will Phoenix. soon. And Loda's making one too. Oh. Hold on here. Yeah, out of a bulldog. If the rapier gets he sold his horse slark... to make a rapier. Well, what's the you're not no? Even if away. the rapier goes in the slark, they still lose. Like there's no way. So Radiant man, structures are just trying to make it. It's game over, man. Game over. We talked about this. It's, no one it's, it's, it's not a lie. Don't lie to the viewership and say that it's possible when it's you not. Evil boss. Look, Unicorn is gonna get a triple kill. <laughs> After Here the mine. Here we go, boss. boys. Here we go, Unicorn. Ah, oh, Ghost Hunter. He's gonna bleed. He's gonna bleed. Got him. He's gonna last it. Watch this from Bulldog. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Look, he's right. just wrecking four. Oh. He's wrecking, but he can't kill anybody. Look, he just got thrown up in the air twice. <laughs> You know what that reminds me? You know the like uh, if you go to an amusement Alliance park, there's this victory. power thing that drops down very fast and picks you back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what are those things called? Bouncy tower things. Bouncy tower thing. Well, that's what happened to unicorn. It's like a yo-yo. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Dude, those things are so cool. Like yeah. you get the feeling of weightlessness, and some people like really can't handle that. I went to an amusement park with my friends, and my friend Alex is like, "Dude, I can't go on these." I'm like, "No, it's fine. You'll be okay." He's like, "No, man, I really can't go on these." I'm like, "Ah, it's fine." He threw up. All